Hey, welcome back to Packers Playbook. I'm Dusty Evu. With me is John Kuhn. We have missed you guys the last couple of weeks. We've had uh, some scheduling issues, but we're back this week. John, miss talking ball with you, man. How are you? Man, I'm fantastic. And and boy, to miss a couple of weeks was a bummer, but, uh, but we got some really good stuff to go through. Jordan Love's best game of the season so far. Um, four touchdowns. That one interception with Bo Mountain slipped, um, but very productive, very impactful. And you're going to see a little bit of why he was so impactful here. Absolutely. Yeah, we got four plays for you guys today. Uh, so we're going to start off. We will hit uh, early in the game. So this is first quarter. Uh, Packers on 12 personnel, about six minutes left in the first quarter. We're going to have Dobbs uh, down on the bottom here. <laughs> This one's a lot of fun. I'm curious your thoughts on this one, John. Uh, we just have a big in-breaker from Dobbs on this huge vertical, three big vertical routes. Love has – I was going to time this. I did not time this. I would say four and a half seconds to throw this ball, perhaps more. Uh, John, what do you got on this one? Well, Dusty, first and foremost, 12 personnel, first and 10. And this Cardinals defense was wild and wacky. A lot of funky numbers in funky positions. It's hard to tell sometimes exactly what coverage they're in in the back end too. They kind of get wild. They kind of get weird. First and 10, a decent amount of, of some sort of matchup man coverage though. And I want you to press play and stop it when Christian Watson gets just past the 30-yard line. Oh, and Emmanuel Wilson with the false start there didn't get caught. But look at this. Look at these three receivers down here from the trip side. They're in a perfect triangle just putting all kinds of pressure on the back end defenders, the two safeties and the corner here to the play side. And as you see it, Christian Watson is, is really the one that makes this whole thing go. His speed and getting out in front of everything really drives that whole back end deep, whether it's the corner, whether it's the safety, or whether it's the other safety. And as they go through the rest of their progression, um, you can see how this thing plays out now. Jordan Love reads this thing out right. I think um, Christian Watson is obviously running a corner right into the man that matches him. And then Ben Sims is running that deep cross over towards the other safety. So you definitely don't want to go there. The only man with any real leverage here is Romeo Dobbs, who's got to get past that second level, level defender before Jordan Love throws him the football. In order to do that, you got to have protection. We'll see that in a second. But watch out Romeo when he makes his cut here keeps it friendly, works down the line, and even back to the quarterback on the throw. Perfect play by Dobbs. Really nice throw by Jordan Love. Yeah, you really, like you said, it's, it's, it is subtle. Usually when, we think of, when I think of receiver attacking the ball, right, working back to the ball, it's almost like in the air. You're coming back, you got those hands up. He's at the 42, and he works back. He catches that thing at the 40. So it's kind of this subtle bend for him to catch it at the 40. And like you said, and we'll, we'll get to him, that man in the middle is kind of is the one kind of screwing everything up there. So you got to kind of wait that out. Um, let's go to the backside here, John, and, and talk about the protection well, here. The backside. I want to see the wide one more time. Um, but you just check out. You watch his protection. Okay, let's do the wide here. Check out this wide. Now, let, when you let this thing run, I just want you to imagine what would happen if Christian Watson ran a post. Just a little bit of foreshadowing. What if he ran the post right there? You can see Just the outside leverage there. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of foreshadowing for the next play. But let's go ahead and check out the protection now. And as you look at the protection, really good stuff here. A nice chip block by Tucker Craft. This is a play-action pass, so you're able to get some double teams up there. You got um, Elton Jenkins working with Josh Myers. You got the chip from Tucker Craft. Allows Zach Tom and Sean Bryan to work a little bit of a double team before Zach Tom comes off here. And here you go, Rashid Walker, who's gotten some penalties called on this year with his hands inside. Really nice block in there. A great way to give the protection and give the time for Romeo Dobbs to clear that second-level defender and Jordan Love to give him the football. Absolutely. You got uh, Love right here as well, not really giving anything away, staring right down the pipe. It says stripe on the back of his helmet there, staring right down the pipe, and then just throwing past him. Like you say, well done all the way around. Uh, John, you set it up. We did the foreshadowing. Let's hit this one next. This is the big Watson touchdown. Uh, I mean, they, I think they said after the after the game, this was not in the game plan. This is more or less a core concept the Packers run. This was just a, to your point, they saw that what the safeties were doing here, and they took advantage of it. Uh, John, what, uh, walk us through this one. I mean, it's the exact same play minus two things. 
They flipped the formation. They're running it to the right side. It's, it's the same exact play all the way to the personnel group and the motion out of the tight end. Now, they flipped it. They ran it left the first time. They're running it right this time. The second time, they switched Tucker Craft for Ben Sims. I like Ben Sims' speed on the first one, but if you want to get the attention of that high safety, remember, it's the high safety you're getting the attention of. If you want to get his attention, you put Tucker Craft there. A guy who just had two touchdowns the week before is a big receiving threat for the Green Bay Packers. That's a way to make sure you get his attention, and then you tell Christian Watson, hey, you, you nod that corner, and then you hit that post. You'll have your man beat. Christian Watson went to the sideline, told Matt LaFleur they were dropping him. Matt LaFleur said, if they're dropping you on this play, we're going to run this play. They came back. This looks identical. First and 10, right after Keyshawn Nixon gets a big return, a perfect time to take a shot, and this shot was perfectly executed. And like you said, you've got it's a nice little route by Watson there too. Doesn't do too much, but pushes vertically, just enough push to get that to the outside, which we saw, and then just no chance. A really nice ball by Love there as well to kind of lay that up, not lead him up the field, lead him across the field because you've got all that space there, make that an easier throw, easier catch for Watson as well. Um, got anything on the backside here? I mean, this is it's it's a balanced look, right? Like it's it's you've got the t- two tight ends in line, single back. You've got the two receivers over here, but balanced front there. The Cardinals do spin. It looks like from what appears to be single high uh, into like a quarter, quarter half. So the middle field open, which plays well with the safety kind of coming down and craft there. Just a uh, way for the Packers to go out there on another first down to give another play action run look, but run nearly the identical play that they ran earlier with a little switch here and a little switch there. And that's the way you create a touchdown. Absolutely. Uh, John, we're going to get the next one here. Um, so we'll run through this. I'm I, I've got a question for you on this, or a couple questions, because this is what I'd spend a little bit of time with. Uh, just in terms of this, this is the fourth and one. We got this throw over the middle by Love. There was some chatter. If you pay attention to chatter on the internet, John, which you probably should not, uh, about how this play was potentially graded. So I'm going to throw at you what this looks like. The progression is, and I'm going to ask you why it did not go to a certain place. And I have some theories. So you got to clear out here little stick from Dobbs. That's the one. Then you've got the crosser, which is the two. And then the dig, which is the three. Ultimately, he works back to the three. Now, it looks like, to me, Dobbs is open on the one. Now, I do have a theory on that. He's set, right? He's set. Three-step drop. He's ready to throw. Guy's bailing. There's no trap. Back hip. That looks like an easy completion. He pulls it down, works back. Reed isn't open. He ends up going to Watson on the follow. Is the reason for this, John, I'm curious your thoughts on this. This dude here, Cardinals have been knocking balls. They batted that the big batted ball interception against the Niners. Is he not comfortable, do you think, with that throwing lane there? And that's why he pulled this? That very well could be the case. Um, I, I think it's more along the lines of the Packers have now lined up against two teams back to back. The Minnesota Vikings came out and showed this seven up double A gap mug where they brought this guy, they brought that guy, they mixed things up. The Rams copied it, gave the Packers a little bit of trouble, especially in the first half last week. So here go the Cardinals here on a play, fourth down and one. It's really fourth down and two if you think about it. Got to have a tight play early in the ball game. They come up with this mug look, and they drop everybody. You're looking for where the pressure is at the snap of the ball, but they're dropping everybody into a really, again, a really muddy um, back end. They're really playing man here. They have um, obviously Dobbs has the safety with man and they have man here over on the front side. And if you look, Jordan Love before the play, and you'll see this more on the back end, sees this seven up look and changes the protection. He goes jelly, slides the entire line left, keeps Tucker Craft in on the right as an extra protector. He's got the defensive end, man to man. And when, and when Jordan Love steps back there, yeah, I think if it's the double A gap and they're coming, he's firing that strike right now on that stick. But because these guys drop, it kind of throws off the tempo of the play for a split second. And I think that's why he starts coming back in his progression. So that would be like a for, for the, the the quick three step drop. That is almost a if I'm not 100 percent certain about throwing this and he was not sure he saw the full picture, perhaps, and there could have someone could have dropped the lane. Is that that's the thought process there a little bit, maybe? 
Well, uh, again, this is this is not fourth and one. This is fourth and two. Stick routes. They're 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 supposed to be easy, but they're not the easiest thing. And when you're anticipating something happening and it's not happening, you kind of want to be sure before you throw the football. And even though they're going to a safer defense, it just kind of throws you off maybe a beat. That's why I would anticipate Jordan Love is dropping back like. What is going on? I got all this protection. All these guys dropped. Let me find my answer. And he goes through his progression. Definitely doesn't hit the stick. And I think Reed, as he's releasing here, you can see this first inside linebacker. He's got him covered because he's covering Tucker Craft man to man. And Tucker Craft is blocking. So he drops back, adds an extra man. You got the spy, the other linebacker who started on that left side, because that's where Jordan Love's eyes went immediately, because number one was over there, the stick. Now he's going to muddy up the second window for the crosser. So he's got to get this ball to Christian Watson. And when you watch this from the backside and see this throw, this is the best throw Jordan Love has made this season, hands down, bar none. This is what we were used to seeing last year, and this is what we can expect to see going forward, and it's exciting. Yeah, it's. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get to protection here in a second. He said that throw – is an insane that's over over Chris Barnes. I mean, that's a dude too. If you're throwing to Watson, who's tall, that's over Chris Barnes. Can't remember who that other linebacker is, and then in front of the safety, that is you got to layer that throw over to put enough zip on it so the other linebacker can't come over. That's that is that's a bonkers throw, and that's one. I mean, he's got to throw that. Like I said, it's fourth down. You're not taking the sack. You've got to throw it. That's the third guy in the progression. You're not running around. So we know he knows at this point. Once he works back, he's got to throw this. Absolutely perfect yep. throw. So you're saying, so he, you look, he goes up. Sorry, go ahead, John. And as you look at it here, he walks up to the line. You can see him. He goes jelly, jelly. He he locks in Tucker Craft here into the protection. Get ready. Jelly, jelly. Locks Tucker into the protection. Tucker knows now he's got the defensive end. The line slides left. They don't have to slide left. They got five guys blocking three. They're extra cautious here. And Jordan probably decides on the hardest throw on the play, but he makes it look easy. He really does. This was one. I mean, you see this live and like, okay, that's, that is a good throw when that happens. And you see the replays of him. Like, I don't know how he fit that in there. Uh, all right. That was very helpful. Very good. Thank you, John. Um, last play. We have got the, uh, what I've seen people call the YOLO ball, the Dobbs. This is Dobbs second touchdown here. Third and four, 11 personnel. I mean, you talked about them dropping dropping people. They're not dropping anyone into, into coverage here. They bring, I think they bring seven. So you got cover zero. You, I mean, you're right here, John, right? You got the safeties five yards back. You got to assume those guys are coming. Looks to me like they're running a clear out for Watson. They want to hit with your Watson as drag, and there's just no time. Uh, so what do you got on this one, John? Yeah, you can see post motion here. Buda Baker, he's not covering anybody. He's definitely coming. They got some sort of a flood blitz here between um, – or, or it would be a storm blitz here because you got Tucker Craft on the strong side. They're bringing a strong safety. They're bringing the Sam. And guess what? They're bringing everybody across the board as well. You called it a zero blitz. And uh, and really, this is Jordan Love. He knows what uh, Josh Jacobs is doing here. He sees him cross his face. He tries to get away from the pressure. And when he gets his eyes back to the right side, he sees it's zero blitz. This is not something that Jordan Love was anticipating. We showed all up earlier in the ball game. Now they got all up here on a third and four. That was fourth and two. Now it's a third and four. Big time moment in the ball game. The Cardinals are starting to come back. It's 24-13. It's a big play they have to have. Potentially get a sack, knock the Packers out of field goal range. And Jordan Love is able to do this, extending the play, throwing off his back foot, taking a chance with the receiver that he knows it's either him catching the football or he's knocking it down. Obviously has that trust in Romeo Dobbs to be able to do this. But when you front, watch it from the backside, the only, the only thing I have on this is he potentially could have jammed quick Christian Watson right away across the middle because it is third and four. He could have potentially had done that. But I think what happened was, was he was drifting away from the pressure on the left side and was going to hit Christian Watson until he saw this pressure on the right side, which is when he threw it up to uh, Romeo Dobbs. You don't have to have all the answers before this ball gets snapped, but you have to have a good idea of what you're going to do if answer A comes or answer B comes. Well, it was B. It was zero blitz, and he was able to delay just long enough before he threw this thing up. A lot of people would say, well, why wouldn't Josh Jacobs just stay to the right side and block the guy on the end, on, on the end of the line of scrimmage? Everybody has a different set of rules, and sometimes it's block the big and let the safety 
for the quarterback. Sometimes it's block the quarterback's backside and leave something right in his face where he's going to be looking. Every one of these plays, every one of these teams, every one of these quarterbacks and protection backs, they have a different way they like to do things. But obviously right there, Josh Jacobs knew, I got to come back. I got to get Buda Baker, the safety. Jordan Love knew it as well. He started drifting away from it. And then he got his eyes on the free rusher. And he, with his own uh, personal talents, was able to delay it, throw it, and make this play happen. So a question for you real quick before we get out of here, John, because you mentioned the everyone's got their own protection rules with the back, kind of how they sort some of that stuff, how they slide, who picks up who, all that stuff. You have experience with this. When you were back there, is it a, is it easy? Is it easier block as far as the angle goes to cross the quarterback face to get that end, or would you prefer same side block? I mean, it's different situations and all that stuff. But given your preference, is there an angle that is easier for you as someone in the backfield? More times than not, I would I would prefer, especially with a safety, I would prefer crossing the uh, the protection with a defensive end. I'd rather not cross the protection because they're so much bigger; they can get so much more penetration on you that then they can potentially shorten the distance and then push you back into the quarterback. But if I'm going for a secondary player, if I'm going for the safety, yeah, I want to be inside out. I want to give him a one-way go. And the way to ensure that is to cross key and go across the formation. That makes sense. That's something I've always wondered. Thank you for that. Well, John, anything else before we get out of here? Or is that that all we have for now? Um, Well, that's all we have for right now. Um, But when you talk about a team like the Houston Texans, um, that are getting after the quarterbacks at a pretty high clip. This is going to be a week where Jordan Love, in this past game against Cardinals, looks like he has shaken off some of the rust that he may have had at the early part of the season. It's going to take Jordan Love once again being on top of his game. And I'm glad we saw that last week versus Arizona because this defense and this team, they're humming right now. Yeah, it's encouraging for sure. Um, I'm going to be at the game this weekend, so I'm certainly hoping for a nice performance from the offense, something to cheer for. But, uh, John, thanks as always. This was great, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Peace.